Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. God will. Hello, love everyone. Hope you enjoyed the new, uh, the new intro. Today we're celebrating our 2,000th subscriber special. Uh, and. I tried to get a whole a little pig for a umu, but you have to order them a week in advance, I guess. So I got a lot of other goodies though. I hope you enjoy it. My wife sure is gonna enjoy it. I'm making some of her favorites that I've never made her before. So, you know, I wanna say right now, thank you so much for everyone who subscribed. But more importantly, I'll tell you one subscriber that's also a polytuber, her name's Kiri. And she has a YouTube channel called Kiri Vlogs. Um, she's recently diagnosed with breast cancer. And, uh, I can't help but think that 2,000 subscribers isn't that important anymore. You know, it's the love we feel and the prayers we give to people we've never met except through the media of YouTube. That's why I love YouTube. It's a special place for me. And uh, we're praying for you, Kira, Kiri, every day. And uh, this video is dedicated to you. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, people, let's get started with the video. Oh, look what I'm going to start out with. These are some beauties. So first thing I'm going to do while the uh, while I'm getting ready to before I make the fe with coconut milk like my wife had at the uh, Stephen and Sons that she loved I'm going to try to see if I can make it. I'm just going to peel a little bit of this English cucumber. And I'm going to make her oka as well. There's going to be a lot of seafood <laughs> today in here. I'm also going to make her, uh, what do you call it, a palasami with uh, her fe too, so I hope she enjoys it. Just, well, I guess I gotta just slid it down, couldn't I? There we go. Ooh. What am I doing? I'm trying to make it so you can see it too, and I'm not being very successful. <laughs> <laughs> well again thank you all for joining us and for making this video possible we love each and every one of you we wish you could we could meet all of you and we could all have a feast together unfortunately most of you live far away from me from us <laughs> Uh, what's next? Let's try the tomato.
Let's do about that much. Make them about, oh, about that thick. And I can chop them some more here in a second. Actually, let me put these in this little bowl here. Had to go wash my hands and clean the board off. I'm gonna save some of this for other stuff. Get little tiny cubes here if I can, or as tiny as I can get. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the bowl. Okay, after my fourth hand wash and my fourth clean of the board, ooh, let me get all these nice chunks of Pacific salmon here. Let's make them about about that size. What do you think? Good size. All right, I'll finish chopping this up, and then we'll go from there. This is the salmon, the onion on the bottom, and now I'm gonna squeeze uh, the lemon. I have another lemon too, and get lemon juice all over that, and we'll put it in the fridge for about three minutes. I drained off most of the lemon juice. It was in there about two and a half, three minutes. And now I'm gonna add the tomatoes and the English cucumber. And my biggest exciting news is I finally found it. Look at that, Cara coconut cream. That's what everyone uses, at least overseas. And they're saying how it's the best one. They only had these small boxes, so I had to buy a ton of them. But let's see. Oh my gosh, look at that. That does look super creamy. Oh my gosh, I think my wife is gonna fall in love with this. And let's open another one. Oh, I wish they had a little plug or something to put open them up easier. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yummy. And let's add some water as well. My wife likes it runny. Let's stir it and see if I have enough water in there. Well, I should have used a bigger bowl, it looks like. That's okay, I'll be careful. Oh, before I forget, Let's put some salt in there. And some cracked pepper a little bit. My wife likes it in hers. And she don't want green onions, but we'll put a little fresh parsley for some color. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. There you go, folks. There is the Oka. Oh my goodness, with big chunks of salmon in there. And that is some pretty fresh salmon. They just vacuum sealed it at the seafood market so it should be delicious let me cover this and put it in the fridge and let's get started on the next dish okay we are back in the kitchen I got some red onions just slivers that I made and the fei I just slow cooked it for an hour just to get it super soft I'm gonna put <clears throat> these were two pounds of the fei I don't remember how much they were sorry they weren't too bad though I asked my wife if I, she wanted me to chop them up some <clears throat> a little bit and she goes that size no leave it whole <laughs> so I'm gonna leave a couple of whole ones for her palasami but let's see I think I only got two left in there yep all right let me get the coconut cream in there and again we're using cara cream I love the, th the thick creamy feel of this it just looks so good and I don't even I don't even like have a passion for coconut cream unless it's in palisami of course which I'll be making that today too with my pisupo or excuse me my uh post or my, yeah, my pisupo uh yeah put that now I don't know if I'm supposed to add a little water to this but I think I'll add a tad it won't hurt it 
Um, plus, it's going to thicken up again uh, when I boil it in the coconut cream. They're pretty much, oh, you can already see the little pinkish in the water. So, I'm basically just going to bring this almost to a boil uh, on medium high. And then I'm going to cover it and put it as low as it'll go and just simmer it for like an hour. Um, and hopefully by that time I'll have the food on the umu and the food will be done so we can kind of time it all together. I like to get everything done at once. If not, I can always refrigerate this and we can warm it up again before it's time to eat. There we go. And of course, no umu for me at least would be complete without coconut cream, onions, and my pisupo for my palosami. This is my favorite kind of palosami. I like the plain too, just with onions and uh, coconut milk. But how can I resist having one with pisupo? I use another two boxes of uh, the caras. I'll put in another one if I need it, which I just might. But yeah, you know I love this. So after I do this here, probably a little add uh, some salt and pepper to it. And then I'm just gonna set it in the fridge for now. Uh, Cause I need to go rinse off and get my taro leaves ready. So it's, it is, it is thick enough for me. And I'm gonna add some of my no salt in there. Yeah, if you have a history of high blood pressure or anything, this stuff is wonderful for that. And it tastes just like salt and it functions just like salt. I like a lot of pepper. And because I'm the only one that's gonna eat this, and you know I love spice. I'm going to try something new today and put in a little bit of crushed red peppers. So I do put this in when I do the palasami casserole. So what the heck not? Why don't I do it when I make the uh, luau? <laughs> these my right. don't know about it. I don't know if she likes these ones, but hopefully she does. But I'm going to put this in the umu too with some coconut cream on it. Let's see if I can just do that. Oh yeah. Very cute. <laughs> All right, this one, I'm not going to put too much on there, I think. Just just enough to uh, help cook it. And we'll see how she likes that. Let's wrap this up. Okay. Oh, that's my first thing prepared for the umu. <laughs> I can't wait. So I'm going to get some other stuff ready for the umu. Get these out. I can probably do these all together. These were five dollars. These are giant bone-in called country style ribs. That's what we call them here. They're pork ribs. Lots of fat on there and you know what that means. Fat means flavor. All right. Oh, my hand. I'm going to have to use just my left hand. I'm going to put a little salt. Actually, let me do this first. Put a little Kikkoman's soy sauce, the low sodium one, just thinking health conscious as, as well and it tastes great, just a little bit healthier for you. I can't touch it with this hand, I got goo on it, some pepper, and then some onion powder, and garlic powder. Matter of fact, I think I'm just gonna do three. One of them, I'm gonna put on the barbecue grill along with some other stuff because uh, Silhouette, my youngest one, don't like them super soft. She likes that burnt edge on there that comes from barbecue. If that meat. wasn't enough pork for you, check these out. These were only $3.30. These are giant ham hocks. That's what they call them, at least here in the US. These are considered a soul food here in the U.S. It's mostly eaten down south, but they had some at the commissary. Oh, darn it, let me go wash my hands again. GoPro, stop. Okay, we're going to give the same treatment as we gave the pork ribs. A little bit of soy sauce to help cook it. Do a little bit of salt, not too much because the soy sauce is salty enough. A little black ground pepper and some onion powder. Not too much. And just this sprinkling of garlic. My wife's not a big garlic fan. And she, oh, not too much garlic. She don't like it. And she'll be the primary one to eat this. So 
I'm making this with her in mind. Meanwhile, she's doing some dishes for me because I've, I've made a mess using so many dishes. And she's behind me. I, don't, I You probably can't see her. But she's helping me clean up. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. That was her. <laughs> Next, we have some beef ribs. Now, these beef ribs, or they're called choice back ribs, are the ones that we found so much that we love it done in the umu they're good barbecue too but the umu man are they delicious these are only three dollars and there is a lot of meat on those there's enough fat too to make it super flavorful but these back ribs for a beef are sure delicious and let me uh put them like that so i can wrap them good all right i'm gonna put the same seasoning on these as well gopro start recording Am I recording? Yes, I am. <laughs> so, this one, that's the one rib for Silhouette. And last but not least, I'm telling you, we are having a feast to celebrate. And we're doing the Korean style ribs as well. Yum, yum. This stuff right here is all going to go on the barbecue grill, though. All right, I need to finish and uh, actually get to the sink when my wife's done so I can clean the taro leaves like I said I was going to do earlier. Or at least rinse them off and destem them. And then hopefully the uh, umu will be about ready. The fire is still going strong and the rocks are super hot. But let's let it go until they're just as hot as they can Good be. enough. Got a nice tilapia here too. And I'm going to go make a mixture of some butter and um, garlic. For some, so I can uh, put some inside. And we're gonna bake this over the barbecue grill as well. There we go. I can put the glaze on in a second. But let me get it locked up. Thank you for eating me. I sure appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome, old fella. <laughs> oh, so these are all rinsed off and clean. I'm gonna, you know me, I'm gonna get a massive one here if I can. That looks like enough for normal people. <laughs> oh yeah heck one one more little one how about that one more little one there we go all right get that closed up and let's wrap it around oh my goodness let's put that in some foil i'll make another one then i'll show you making my wife's you can see my wife's it's got a couple little red onion slivers in there and a couple of fei. And I'll make her a little mini palasami, see if she likes it. All right. My wife's in here. Oop, she's got a little bit of leak in it. Oh, I, let me get my foil. And I'll wrap up my wife's too. Okay, the fire is almost out. Let's see if I can spread it around a bit. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Oh man. I guess it's not done yet. <laughs> so I stirred it around and just stirred up the fire. So it is blazing hot though. So hopefully the fire goes out soon. And then we'll get the food on the umu. All right, the umu's got a few more minutes, but all this stuff is done. Ooh, look at that fishy fishy. Yummy, yummy. That's like for mommy. Let's get all these short ribs together. I'm gonna stab them together. Oh, 
And I think I'm gonna have to carry the fish with the other hand because silhouette won't like fish taste on top of her meat there. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for everything that you've blessed us with. And a special prayer to Kiri, uh, who's battling breast cancer. Please let your healing hands uh, help her through this uh, troubling times and uh, give her strength to prevail. I know you will heal her. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. We're here. Hopefully you saw the thumbnail. Now this is the Fafihau plate. Someone said, oh my gosh, at one time you gave your wife the pastor's plate. Well, this is a pastor's plate plus. She's got her palsami with a fe'e. she got her Korean short rib. She's got, what is that? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, a pork rib. She's got beef rib. She's got ham hock. She's got fish. She's got rice. She's got, uh, what is that? Potato salad. She's got oka. And then she's got her fe'e with coconut cream. I hope she enjoys it. The girls and me don't have quite so much. But then again, we're not the head person of the family. That's really mommy, not me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Potato salad spot on. I'm gonna try a little bite of this, the Korean. Spare, or, uh, what do you call these? Spare ribs or Korean? Uh, spare ribs. These are spare ribs, mm -hmm. Hella? Yeah. Or mm. what they like to call it, shirt ribs. You just hear the meat off the bone, look. Look. And the jar they eat. Mmm. That is good meat. Hi. Hi. She's about sporting the sock more hat. Yeah. What, because you've been having a bad hair day? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said earlier, today's Labor Day. They have one more day off. Tomorrow, I gotta take acapella to boxing practice. Silhouette does her Siva Afi practice every night for about 30 minutes. Which is just here at home, but on um, Friday and Saturday she does that. And then school starts Wednesday. Mm. We really want to know how this tastes and this tastes, honey. Oh, we have rice too, sorry. She's trying the poke, aka oka. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Mom still looks at me when she says something says the camera. <laughs> That's really good. Good. Coconut milk is excellent. Oh yeah, the the shout out to I have one left. Kara! Kara coconut cream, we love you. Thank you, everyone, for record. Recommending them. Please sponsor everyone that recommended this to me. <laughs> don't sponsor me. I don't need it. <laughs> mm. I can't believe I waited this long. I'm going to try my palsami. With my crushed red peppers. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. It's so thick with that car cream. Look at that. It looks. Look. Does that look like the regular palsami now? Mmm. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is so good. Much better. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm just saying. I've tried a lot of people's palsami. And I've tasted some good palsami, but I'm sorry, I must be biased because I love my palsami the best. I don't know why. But something about it, I just love it. Mmm. Three cheers for the chef. Hip hip. Mm. Oh, they fell for that. <laughs> I'm congratulating myself on my own palisami that I'm eating. Mm. The Korean ribs are good. Short ribs. I just said short ribs. Oh, I thought you said spare ribs. They're well known for short ribs. <laughs> I'm going to try the fit in now and the coconut cream. Ooh, she really liked this from Stevens and Son. Let's see how she likes a homemade one. Mm. 
The kids can't even look at it. Mm -hmm. That was the time I... What are you doing with that? So if oh, me and Steven, if Steven had a rate or a contest, who would Very win? Very soft. Who would win? Yes. Oh my God! Don't you have to say that? Just come, your husband. <laughs> that is very good. Who would win again? <laughs> I think Stephen's son was delicious. My wife said it was the best she had ever tasted in her whole life, and she didn't say that about mine. So don't worry, your place is a top fee on coconut cream. Is secure in Washington State? Maybe the United States. I don't know. Shout out to anyone out there in the other states. Let us know. I know a lot of states like Arizona. Um, I think Cece in Texas says she's had trouble finding Polynesian stores. And she lives in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, which is the most like crowded area in Texas. So, are there any other states out there that, that's watching right now that don't have any kind of Polynesian store in your state? Comment below. Let me know. I'm guessing like North Dakota, South Dakota doesn't have it, but I'm curious what other states do not have any type of Polynesian store. So Maka's been hungry, and greens are good for dogs, like kale, carrots. Let me give some of that, some corned beef. Coconut cream, I don't know if that's good, but wherever she's at, put it by um, Maka, see if she likes it. If you hear her go, whoo, whoo, gee, whoo, then you know she likes it. <laughs> well, she's eating it. Oh, oh well, that's my doggy. Oh wait, hold on. Oh no, don't, don't say that. Cut, cut the camera. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. She loved daddy's food, she right? Right. Away from it. She was just cut the camera. Someone turn it off. We don't want to hear this. Mark is scary. <laughs> You're scary. <laughs> my food's scary. <laughs> Eat your food, bad girl. Oh, now she's sniffing it again. Hey, so just eat your food. How about you eat your your rib yet? Oh, that big chunk of meat is rib meat. Oh, you like that one better? And my rice. But that rib, you love rib meat, and that's not cooked in the umu. I grilled it just for you, so it wouldn't be mushy or soft. She likes stuff that's not not that rib, the big one. That's pork. That's like your regular rib you like. It's just a big one. Huge. You gotta tear the meat off with your hand. Well, <laughs> I'll try it with you, Silhouette. Ready? Oh my god. Mm. Of course, ours is super soft because it was cooked in the umu. Silhouette's probably isn't as soft, but let's see if she likes it. Mmm. Oh, good, good eating, good eating. Oh my gosh, what haven't you tried yet? <laughs> you have so much food there, Pastor Seca. You tried this yet? Your octopus um, palsami? Did mom try that thing? You want us like wrapped in something? That right there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I don't think yet. Yeah, I did. And ham hock. Mm -hmm. It's good. Good. Remind me of the. Hello, tried it too, didn't you? Of the one that you cooked that wrapped with bacon. The ham hock. Did you try it? No. Oh. It just tastes like pork meat with uh, bacon wrapped on it. But you don't have to eat the bacon part. I got this palasami. I'm going to save the other one for later. Mmm. So good. It's so good. <clears throat> wow. Delicious. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Can I eat it later? You can save some for later. Sure. She just woke up. She was having a midday nappy nap. Be a boy. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Just leave it there. Mom will put it in a little container for you. Okay. What? So I'm done. He says, hold on. <laughs> oh, you tried that. Just one little bite. I know you're not a big Palosami fan. I 
I'm gonna get my hair cut tomorrow. So what's up, Pella? Not cut cut though, right? No, I'm gonna get layers. Layers? And I'm gonna get a face frame. What's a face frame? They frame your, you're like, they like frame your face with your hair. Like this? Like a square frame? Like a no, picture? No, they're like gonna fix her like, her fringe, which is like this whole chunk of hair here. Like that, that's part of her fringe. You don't like your friend? You want to kill it off and kill, chop it off? Well, it doesn't need to chop it off. You can just, like, <laughs> cut it a different way. Mm -hmm. It make it look better. It yeah. makes me so mad. Because I remember one night before school, not night, but the day before school, I had, like, a few minutes oh, left. Oh, so you want your hair to look like a top? No. No! <laughs> what? Top. What? Because the way... Okay. Because depending on what face your shape is, what shape your face is. Oh, so good. <clears throat> like, you have a rounder face, and some type of way your hair is cut to make your face look Did more... Did you dye your hair? Beef ribs, yummy yeah, too. Blue. <laughs> huh. It is. <clears throat> But I remember. Just, I you know, I'm not coughing on my hand when I do that. I go, <clears throat> like that. I'm doing that because that's my signal that I'm going to say, GoPro, stop Which recording. Which is funny. Oh, you tried it already? How mm -hmm. was it? It was really good. Really, really good. Ooh. And it was really, like, like temperature hot in there. It was, like, oh, all yeah. the all, all the heat still in there. The octopus Ugh. is like little charcoal briquettes, huh? Excuse me. That just means compliments to the chef in some countries. Excuse me. You try your big rib yet? I want an ice cube in my mouth. Did you try your big rib yet? Yeah. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a good thing I don't do any food eating competition. Yeah, my wife sucks at eating a lot of food, but I wanted to make her this so we could have a big celebration for our 2,000 subscriber. Only a 1,999 are accounts created by Silhouette, but there's some one person out there that actually subscribed to us. <laughs> actually, we don't have any social media. We don't have Instagram, Facebook. Well, we have a Facebook, an old account, but we don't use it for social media. And a bunch of baby pictures of me. Uh, yeah, old, old. Well, that's mine, but it's my, uh, yeah, her. it's for family purposes. So we don't really communicate anything about our channel or anything outside of just YouTube. So we appreciate each and every one of you. Very good dinner. <clears throat> What's that? It's a very good dinner. Very good dinner, mm -hmm. she That's good. I just can't eat anything. I know, baby. I didn't expect you to eat all that. I ate more so for fast, so many different things. I mean, if all I have is Oka, Oka would be gone. Or if all I had was Fit, it would be gone. And if all I had was all this meat right here, all that would be gone too. <laughs> what if all you had was Seya? Would it all be gone? Seya? Yeah. It's Seya. Seya. No, Seya. Not Seya. 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 There's no apostrophe. In oh, Seya. Just Seya. If all Seya. mom had was Fresca. I thought it was Seya. If all I had Seya. was Seya, yeah, Seya would be gone. Like Satmoa. It'd be Seya. You know, it's been such a long time since I've had it. I can't picture myself um, able to chew on the hard parts in a seah anymore. Oh my god. Like I used to. You could do it, honey. Anyone know where I can buy some seah? Those stuff are really hard. In Washington State, let me know. I want to see my wife drink that. And I'm, my challenge is that I won't pass out from watching her eat it. Because when I watched Andrew Zimmern eat it, I almost fainted. It was, oh he my god. He almost fainted. He almost fainted too. He has a look like it's go. <laughs> Dan, Dan. She watched. So I'm going to do this. <clears throat> Until I come coughing, they're going to go, bro. Stop recording. I'm done. You're done, sweetie? Yeah. Bye. You want to say goodbye to anybody? Sure. Bye. Anything, anybody, anyone special you want to say goodbye to? No. <laughs> you want to say goodbye in Samoan? Bye. See you. 
Teach them, not me. Fa. Fa what? Fa si fua. Count to ten, quick. Good. Too bad they can't hear you. All right, good job. You can leave now. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. I am getting full too. My polisomia was massive. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I don't even have this. <laughs> you know what? Well, yeah. They find my hockey face for those little candies I buy them sometimes. Okay, I'm going to turn it off one more time and we're going to finish up the video. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, done, stop recording. Down, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Happy Labor Day. Happy, happy 2000 subscribers. Day. I owe it all to you no, that's, with that's, all your cooking and hard work you do for this channel. Bless you, honey. Bless you. I so appreciate you. You're the best. All the editing she does. I don't do any of that. But thanks. <laughs> I try to give her some cred. Out of all your stuff, to say a salad, rice, fish, blah, 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 all this, what are your top three things that you love the best? Um... Pick whatever is in your heart. This. What is that? My, um, my oka. Oh, her oka? My oka. And this. I only oh, have this one. Her beef rib tip. Mm -hmm. And my fei. And her fei. Well, fei and this comes close. Fei and country style rib. No, it's very, very soft. We couldn't remember what it's called. The fei with coconut cream is a, it's something, it's something fei, and I can't remember what it is. How do you say coconut cream is small? Do you remember? If you don't, that's okay. Someone else down there will comment and say what it is. <laughs> My favorite three things are the palasami. Mmm, the palasami. But in third place is uh, the Palafamia. <laughs> I love all the other food too, but nothing beats my Palafamia with coconut cream and pisupo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our 2000 subscriber special. Remember this video is dedicated to Kira. Kira Vlogs. Check out our channel. Subscribe. She may not be posting a lot of videos recently, but just go on there. And tell her that you're thinking about her, that you're praying for her. It is really the least we can do. God bless each and every one of you. Um, again, if, if subscribers are nice to have, and I appreciate it, but they're not important. Our health, our love of God, and our family is most important. With that in mind, much love to all of you. We'll see you next time. Tofa se fua. Fa. And until the next video, one, two, three. Peace. Peace. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>